This is Dabu7. Some of you may recall where we had scientists and archaeologists showing that they had discovered remnants of a dinosaur and pretty much the best intact dinosaur that we've ever seen. And it looked just like this. Now, the researchers are saying that they had unearthed a new dinosaur in Utah, this new species of the Ankylosaur, and that it had lived 76 million years ago in what is now southern Utah. Now, the timing and these dates and everything that mainstream science goes with, uh, I argue, I always have, and will continue to, in terms of the dating, that's not taking away the fact that these things were here. There's bones and fossils all over the place showing proof that they were definitely here. And the areas in which they roamed, I think, is even more interesting. Because back in this time period, the United States was not like it is today. There was actually what was known as another continent of Lauramidia. There was apparently this massive inland ocean that split North America in two, and they're saying that eventually that water shrank and receded back to what we have today as North America. And this is interesting because if the water was taking a certain route then with higher, higher water levels before they receded, then it should show where a lot of water may potentially funnel back into if it was to get flooded out again. It's very interesting when you look at these Laura Midia pictures. Laura Midia. Right out the gate, it reminds me of the image that's been floating around for the past decade, probably, about what it would look like if the United States was flooded out completely. A U.S. military image, they tried to pass off and say. But as you can see here, this is what it used to look like with all of these regions underwater. So the coastlines at one point, all of Florida, all the way up to the New Madrid. That's exactly where it stops, the New Madrid fault line, or the, the town of New Madrid, where this waterway backed up into. And then all the way up through here. Of course, this is... I start to question some of the stuff. I question everything, but I'm questioning, okay, where were the Rocky Mountains? And of course, you can see where the mountain range runs right here. But, I mean, the mile high and everything in Denver and all that, everything would have had to have shifted over all this all this time, obviously. Things would have had to have, have shifted a little bit over what they're saying is 76 million years. But regardless, this is the region they're saying they discovered this, and it shows that this Laura Midia has a lot of ancient past. So if you're wanting to find stuff that is truly ancient in this country, that back at this point in time may not have been underwater, well, this is something to look into. Now, I'm not so sure I agree, obviously, with all of the findings here. One thing that I can guarantee you is that where I live in northern Kentucky, and it is hilly and semi-mountainous up through here, in my own backyard... There's proof that water was here, massive amounts, because there's shells, there's all kinds of fossils, and there's layers of it in the mountainside. I'm going to have to do a video and show that and talk about it. And it's, uh, it's amazing because when you look back, they say that this area used to look just like the Bahamas. And I'm like, what? How is that? <laughs> you know, but I mean, apparently that's what they say. But everything looks so much different back at this time. And you got to think, at some point, there had to be an area where everything connected and things started to finally migrate back and forth. And it looks like that area could have been Texas, Oklahoma. Matter of fact, in some other images, this is the exact area they show where it did come together. And you can see how this is listed as Appalachia and Laura Midia. So from here on out, you hear me speak on Appalachia. I'm talking about this side, Laura Midia this side. And just some history here on the United States, if you didn't know the shape of it and what it looked like. Once again, it just strikes me as being very close 
to what they say it would look like now if it all flooded out. But Ali Belink, it's been Dabu 7. Peace.